Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Eric Meal Time. Today's episode, we're at the Groovy Noodle Shop, right there, Groovy Curry Noodle Shop. But the place is packed. It's just, you can't get a seat, but, but come here, check it out. They've got a vending machine that sells their curry. Awesome. You can smell it from the window. It smells amazing. So this is a dry curry. It means it comes with the rice. That looks good. It's got a chili sauce on it. There's another one. This has also got a chili sauce. What's the difference? What do we have here? We got a green curry. Oh, that looks good. And then they've got the gyoza here, which we've had before from other machines. This is pretty common in Japan, but they're a curry shop. Definitely want to try these. Make sure we got the right one. Yep, five dry curry. <clears throat> nice looking package. Yep, it is. And let's do this one too, number seven. The green curry. That looks fabulous, doesn't it? Fresh for these is a thousand yen, so what's that? Seven dollars fifty cents. Ooh, this one's heavier. Yeah, definitely bigger. See the line's getting longer. No way we would have gotten in there. All right, on to the next place. Hey, come here, check this place out. It's a bento shop. But they've got a machine that sells their bento lunch boxes. Pretty cool, this is some kind of Spain soup. Caspacho, it's interesting. Different types of bentos, burger. This looks interesting. It's in a little package. Steak one right there. Oh yeah, they sell packets of rice. The name of the place is Verbina's Kitchen. Verbina. We'll do the soup first. Oh, it comes in a box. Nice. That's good. It's got some weight to it. And let's see, let's do this bento right here. Pretty rare to find bento lunch boxes in a vending machine. Pretty rare. Yeah, especially these custom ones. So what's that? Let's try this number five. It's a salmon, a marinated salmon and a mayonnaise sauce. That's the main right there. And then it comes with some other vegetables as well too. Pretty nice looking lunchbox. It says Q beef sirloin steak, 150 grams, 900 yen. Gotta try the steak. It's number eight. There's the steak right there on top. All right, the cooler box is full. Let's go eat. All right, we are back. Everything is ready to go. I just had to heat it up, so it's pre-cooked. So it's pretty simple eats. You just take everything out of the packaging, into the microwave, and you're ready to go. So where are we going to start? That's a good question. We're gonna start with the soup right here. And this soup is a Spanish soup. Yep, from Spain. Let's see if I can give you a better close-up here. I don't wanna spill it. It's a thick soup and it's called gazpacho. That is the name of the soup. All right. Just having water here. Thirsty after picking up all that food. Wow, it's got a uh, very interesting smell to it or aroma. I'm smelling spices. Mm-hmm. Oh, what is that? It's got the color of pumpkin soup, but no, it's a it's a sweet and sour soup. That is tasty. I'm just gonna drink it out of here. 
Mm. How to describe it? It's a tomato base. Almost tastes like the beets or something. It's a puree sort of texture. Mmm. Tangy. That is nice. I like that. All right, and we've got two bento lunch boxes here. This is a fish plate right here, which is it's salmon in a white sauce, I believe. And then it comes with a little bit of spaghetti and some vegetables, some pumpkin over here. I see onions in here. Maybe some cabbage, some carrots. Wow, that's a lot of meat. There's mushrooms in here. And I thought it was a cream sauce, but it's really not. It's it's something else. Mmm. Hearty. Oh. Gourmet for sure. Look at the thickness of that meat. That is a huge piece of salmon for a bento lunchbox. Let's go over here to the uh, squash corner. Squash and some peppers. Mmm. Is that zucchini? Perhaps. Got a little pumpkin salad over here. Mmm. Pumpkin nice and sweet. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. I love Japanese pumpkin. And then this looks like, is it a gratin? Looks like a gratin. Because it's in a little cupcake holder, so. Potato dish. Oh. I'm tasting coconut. Coconut and cream, it is a gratin. Nice crunchy fresh broccoli. And then we've got some noodles here. Nice and soft. And some carrot strips. Wow. Mmm. Bento number one. Delish. This green curry right here is calling me. Because I can just smell it. It's oh, It's got a fabulous smell. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And there's chicken in here. So green curry chicken. There are some. Oh, look at that. I thought that was chicken in the beginning. Bamboo shoot. Nice. And I'm just going to pour this onto my rice here. I'm going to separate the rice. So we're doing half and half here. Half in this one. Half in this one. And it will just pour it in, I guess. Right over the rice. And you get quite a bit of chicken in here. Big chunks of chicken. It's nice. Okay. Very nice. Okay, going in for the green curry. That was a very popular shop. I'd like to go in there and, and eat sometime, but anyway. First I should try their food before I say I want to go eat it there, huh? Mmm. Oh my goodness. That's some really tender chicken. Mm-hmm. Just be eating it with the spoon here. Oh. Oh, that chicken. Super tasty. I love a good green curry. Oh, it's rich. Watch out for the little bay leaves. <coughs> I don't think they're supposed to be eaten. Green curry. Oh, it's just so pleasant. I don't eat it that often, but I always enjoy it. It's, and there's a bit of spice, too. I can taste coconut. It's just really pleasant. And it goes well with chicken. I can't get over how tender that chicken is. So soft and juicy. Okay, let's do bento number two here. Coming in for the sirloin steak bento. It's nice that the steak... It's a cooked, I'd say, medium. And they've sliced it up. So here's what 
is what it looks like. There's a close up on the meat. That's uh, looking pretty nice. And the rest of the stuff in the bento is exactly the same. The other side dishes is the same as the first one with the fish. It's got the gratin and the squash and the pumpkin. So I think we'll just eat the sirloin steak. And it comes with a sauce too. A little bit of sauce. Ooh, it's a thick sauce. Oh, what's it got in it? It looks like a... What? Like a Korean sauce, maybe. Like it's uh, it's gonna have some heat, perhaps. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have put so much. Big chunks of meat. Okay, going in. Yeah, it's a yakiniku sauce on top. A nice tender meat for a bento. I mean, typically meat isn't this high grade. That's soft. Oh, it's a really good sauce. Yep, it's got some spice. And you get quite a bit of meat. I'm surprised that the portion size. Typically when you buy bentos at train stations and stuff, you do not get a lot of meat. It is sliced really, really thin. This, I mean, this is a steak right here inside of a bento box. Yeah, so they'll disguise it is what they do. When you buy it, it looks like it's got a lot. It's just covering whatever the rice or just on top of something, and it'll be super, super thin. Whereas the steak was packaged separate, and you could just tell it was half the volume of the whole bento. So definitely good value there. All right, what else have we got here? We've got the dry curry. This one is the spicy curry. How do you describe dry curry? Well, it it's dry, there's no sauce. And it comes with a spicy sauce and spicy whatever bag of spice, huh? Okay, put both of these on, mix it in. Be careful with this bag, I've had this before in ramen and oh my goodness, go nuts, right? Okay, it's ready to go, let's give it a try. The spicy dry curry. Mmm. Oh, the flavors. This place, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm at their restaurant. Mmm. Lots of flavors going on. There's a sweetness too. Well, it's really meaty. So I'd say it's a, a shredded beef. Very meaty curry. Oh yeah. And it's a big portion too. Oh yeah. Definitely gourmet flavors going on. There's a lot in this curry. So the best item here, well, it's all good. I mean, all of this food is just killer. So I think that is gonna do it for this one. On my rating scale between one and six Eric heads. you know to be honest today I wasn't thinking it was gonna be that great you know these frozen food vending machines but this stuff's different you bring it home you heat it up and you got a restaurant quality type of experience happening it's amazing so I got to go full six today six out of six is a nom 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 it's lit yo so as always I'm doing a giveaway I got a brand new batch of snack packs right over here. There they are. So what is this, like 15 of them right there. So those will be going out real soon. And I'm giving away three. So one, two, three of them as always. And what's inside to get some snack pack? If you're not familiar, I'll put a link on the screen somewhere. You can check out an unboxing video, but basically it's goodies that I assemble from Japan and send off to you guys as my thanks for watching my videos. So to enter the giveaway for your chance to win, simply put a comment down below in the comments box and I shall select three winners and announce them in the very next Eric Mealtime. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it 
And as always, I look forward to reading those comments. See you next time.